in prone PCNL, you should reach first. If you wanted to be in this room, you wanted to take this table, you wanted to take this this uh, this thing. Both you want to pick up. You cannot puncture here because you cannot go back. You have to come above this. Imagine that is the back. This is the back. Imagine the roof is the back. If you want to come here, where you should reach most posterior part, which is most posterior part above. Most posterior part of what? Stone or calyx? Calyx. So calyx first. If not, if such a big stone is there, you can take stone also. In this, all stones. How can you say that which is more posterior? So when you put the needle, when you put the needle, the most this is direction. Which direction? Medial, lateral. Will you puncture any time like this? No. Will you puncture here? No. no. So what it is telling? Medial, lateral. Second, what it is telling? Zero degree down or up? Is somebody puncture here? No. no. Somebody puncture will here? No. no. So what it is telling? Two things. Sir. Medial, medial lateral, lateral up, 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 up down. down. How will you see? Just by keeping it without injecting contrast. See, it is kept here. Finished. That's all. This you should be able to do uh, very fast. This. This, you should, this is the direction. Whatever may be, this is the direction. Now, I can Not put done. here. I can put here. I can put here. Does anybody put here? No, sir. No. Does anybody put here? No. In which condition you will put here? Don't do it. In which condition you leave it here, children? In which condition you put in all cases? How do you decide where you have to start? Is the first blindness of the PCNL. Till now in the world, nobody could tell properly. There are so calculations and all that. Ultrasound is the only thing which can tell. We don't have ultrasound in India. So roughly, we will keep 12th rib. What was we keep in uh, prone supine PCNL? 12th rib, not posterior axial line. Recently, I am telling. 12th rib below line, a little lateral is okay. So, you are entering here, somewhere here. That is okay? Yes, sir. So, from there, next question supine prone PCNL blindness is if you go, you will go deep. If you go, you will go. Posterior. What is your aim first? Posterior. posterior. So, posterior. that means you should be like this. Yes, sir. After that, slowly go anterior. That means gradual descend. This is here, then descend down. Gradual descend. Whereas in supine, gradual ascends. Here is gradual descend. Next, once you keep it like this, don't change here, here, here. That is the next thing. You just go, you have decided. See there. You decided. See, I, I have gone untouched. I am there. Now, this is a normal angle. For me, what is appearing, for you, what is appearing, it is superficial. So, what will, first of all, needle should not go that much also. Come back. You got the point? Yes. You have to hit whatever stone. In this, we don't know which stone is anterior, anterior posterior. posterior. That is the problem. First of all, without injecting contrast, can you know which is anterior posterior? It is slightly difficult because they are all in one calyx. Differentiating in that calyx is difficult. And one more thing. If the calyx is dilated like this, there is no problem even if you enter wherever. But try to enter posterior part of the calyx. That means first try at a lower angle, then go to Water is not coming. Everything looks there only. Now, how many angles are there to see that whether that stone is there correct or not? This side, that side, down, up. In supine PCL, if you turn up, posterior will go up in the screen. In prone, what will happen? Opposite. So, if it is going down, it is more posterior. It, in this case, it is expected because purposefully I am kept in superficial. Turn 5 degree. Only 5 degree. What happens? We will see. See, at, automatically it has gone down. down. Yes, that means 5 degree only it has gone down means I have to do a lot of deepening. Yes, sir. 5 degree only it is gone down means I have to go a lot of uh, uh, going anterior. Now another 5 degrees is, is, is going down. 100 percent it is superficial. Here there is no, even if you hit lateral calyx in prone PCR, nothing will happen. Provided the calyx is very big. But sometimes calyx is absolutely uh, okay. this thing. We cannot tell. And if you inject contrast now, if you inject contrast now, contrast first goes below or above? 
So thick contrast if you inject whatever the solution which is becoming thick don't puncture that. Yes, in prone. Yes, yes, sir. Whereas in supine yes, nothing yes, like yes, this. Yes, Happily upolateral, anterior posterior. Preferably posterior gradual ascent. Wherever the water comes, you go in, you will be enjoying the size. Now another something, it is gone down. What about Sida Karo? Sida Karo? Zero. Sida Karo? Yeah. Now zero. Now if you do same thing towards me, towards me, if it goes towards the spine, it is superficial. See, it goes towards the spine. See, it has gone towards the spine. What does it mean? It is superficial. So now go to zero degree. Now second aspect is whether to inject the contrast or not. After that, what you have to do? Come out completely, turn it and go down. Yeah. Now you 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 put the contrast slowly, and during that time, hundred percent, you should be watching what's happening. See, contrast has come into pelvis. Contrast has gone into the upper calyx. Contrast has gone into the lower calyx. All the calyx is completely no prone and uh, no anterior, no posterior. Ram ram. Same like. Uh, supine piscinal or prone piscinal, no difference, absolutely no difference. It's a large calyx, four stones are formed. So, easiest case. Now, what will you do? Just come out here, come out here, come out up to the level of the skin. Now, you go increase. How much? 20 degree because it was too much getting separated. Yes, now, you go. Here also that principle, see, when you are gone, here also that principle of C, that principle of C. That principle of movement is there. So see, 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 observe my hand. What I am doing, gently I am not changing the direction. I have punctured. Here I have, did I puncture exactly at the periphery? No need. Where does the renal artery come, uh, the important renal artery come, you tell me? That infundibulum. Where is the infundibulum? Kilometers away. So don't think too much. Thoda either there, there is no problem. Now at this level you wanted to see whether it is in the calyx or not. How do you see? 5 degree up. 5 degree up. 5 degree up. What happened? It is same. 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 Come back. 5 degree also you have to see. After 30 degree also it is not same. That means if you are missing, missing by millimeter. So don't worry. Now come to here. What will happen? Towards the medial. Nice so I should get the water. Now we will take it out and see whether it is water is coming or not. Now water is coming. So obviously water will come. I know that I have punctured because it dilated. Now you do the surgery. This only this much video we will give in supine also. Okay. In supine also. For example, inject contrast. I will show give you one more needle. How to puncture the upper calyx? This we have to block. We have to block this. Contrast will leak. Wait. How to do upper calyx? Total up. Inject fast. Inject fast. Inject fast. See, can you see the upper calyx? Can you see the upper uh, top calyx? That I will show and show. And uh, this is the upper calyx. Here you cannot puncture the. This is the actually calyx. Yes, sir. Can you puncture that? You have to puncture. In case of difficulty, you have to puncture. This is the direction. Keeping this direction is very important. Will the kidney be medial or lateral in upper part? Medial. medial. So, is se thoda medial job. First direction kar diya. Second thing, will it be superficial or deep? Superficial. superficial. Very good. Very good. Yes. Bye -bye. Very, very good. Now that means you should keep like this. How will you go? The moment you went, it is already, the rip is coming. I will go little up. Rip is coming. So if the rip is coming, you have to go little up. Now what will you do after going up? You, you increase CM. See, already go like this. Okay. Okay. See. Okay. You have to move like this, but this patient is obese. I am adjusting toward that guy. It is moving. See, here I kept. When compared to this, this will be superficial. But we don't know. A contrast is not going freely there. So we will see how it goes. Uh, see how, what will happen in that contrast, thick contrast pass. Uh, in that this is not warranted, but I am showing. Supracostal puncture is difficult, na? Yes, I am explaining. Uh, inject contrast fast. Uh, inject contrast fast. Inject, 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 inject. That is not getting delineated. That is the problem. These are the cases uh, you should use flexible nephroscope. You should use the RIRS for the upper small calyceal stone. Here there is no stone. So doing experiment is not good. 
in that case if you are desperate desperate then you have to go you know how to go you have to go immediately like this shake shake like this shake like this it is not at all shaking it is not at all shaking so stop here and then you apply the same principle it is not easy apply 5 5 degrees so 5 degree what happened it has gone down a little bit out 5 degree it has gone little down out 5 degree it has gone little down that typical calyx uh, it has gone down what does it mean it is superficial that means little still deep. deep i have to go that is the difficult uh, go back yeah. go back yes now what i will do i will remove i will remove so almost i am going like i am going like this is dangerous yeah, yes. because major vessels will be there now now do it tiny uh, inject contrast ureter catheter thoda andar dal de to acha hota now it is almost almost it is still coming still coming down we are not sure so in this direction only ha uh, see in this direction only you adjust okay see it is nicely nicely going in this direction only you adjust see is it moving ha uh, now i have kept it okay now i am thinking that it may be there ventilate ventilate no okay right now you you move more whether it is moves or not we will see it should not move now see yes. it is not moving now go back zero zero ha uh, uh, now also it is there you got the point yes. now there is a chance that it may be there so you take it out and see it is there yes. so absolute side fix now what i will do i will take the contrast and delineate that calyx and slowly come out and see where i have entered yeah where exactly. i have entered so sorry, gently i will inject the contrast cm gently i will inject the contrast cm yeah see i am coming out okay i am coming out definitely i am not in that calyx i am coming out inject see still it is distending but ideally is it correct no because there is one calyx there even this is also calyx that also may be calyx yes sir this dilated calyx is uh, anterior and that dilated calyx may be posterior if you can puncture that uh, peripheral calyx perfectly with your signs sir you are great for that i will tell you see i am coming back a little bit cm 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 i am coming back injecting gently contrast still it is distending inject still it is uh, contrast is going inject still it is going but all the contrast now it is appearing to going into the periphery yes, ah see something else is getting delineated you stop it here and don't do this i will use now if you remove and pass a guide wire if it goes uh, then it is see still why why i have taken this much time because i don't want injure any see now it has directly gone into the if i have got, uh, directly gone into the ureter now give me guide wire here if you follow these principles you will never have problem how can you hit the infundibular artery when you have withdrawn so much yes sir how can you uh, uh, um uh, uh, this thing so now you pass uh, this this may not go because stone is stuck now when you start the dilatation first to secure this because why i have made it now in your brain this angle you have to remember how much that side you if you want to dilate you should not be like this you should come and it should be like this end dot see every time short persons they will bend like this Tall person they will go medium, short person they will go later because this thing. now blade give me the blade. You got the point. So when you dilate, first uh, you have to cut this. The uh, superior cord same na. Yes sir. Cut this. Okay. Now anatomy of the upper calyx you are not understanding. Yes, the sir. calyx which I punctured is the anterior <laughs> calyx. Why contrast is thickly <laughs> seen. The calyx which I punctured is a not a correct calyx because posterior you have to puncture. And uh, what is the um, what is the um, what is the post? For example, if you are puncturing anterior calyx, okay. Where you should puncture at least as later as possible. That's why guide wire has gone so nicely into the ureter. So posterior calyx only guide wire goes nicely. Posterior. Okay. Now you see this was the angle. Don't keep like this. If you are here, it will be like this. You should be like this, and it will be very easy dilatation in. See, it is going like this. Not correct. You go like this. You go like this. See. 
here it is a uh, uh, thick so this type of guide wire will not uh, take uh, that's why first guide wire should be stiff guide wire not thermo what is a stiff guide wire zebra guide wire zebra guide wire tip only it will curve after that it will be very stiff so that it is like a railroad just blindly you go in but whatever it may be the direction of the entry into the kidney should not be missed so you go like this 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 some amount of uh, uh, some amount of torque is uh, uh, is there but one till you put uh, till what i did here too much coiling i have done third thing too much slow i am doing fourth thing till you reach the rod you be careful and where you keep the rod see now it goes easily see like this see it was like this what i did you see here both areas sure. like this i kept show there also it was like this and i am doing like this that is very important if it is like this like this that is called inviting uh, ajo 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 aisa inviting then you go here here up to here you keep now you do the surgery so to conclude the anatomy is very important skin subcutaneous tissue muscles latissimus dorsi erector spinae oblique muscles all should you should know after that gerotus fascia then fat before that perinephric fat before that perigerotus fat they are all easy they quickly move so assessing because of this depth is the blindness in patient this patient i have seen this 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 is the crux if it is a, if it is a small child this puncture might have been like this if it is a small child it might have been like this medium it might have been like this but i tried like this i go gradually i have gone gradually i have gone deeper superficial i have gone then gradually i have gone deeper into deep into the kidney then you will never hit the major arteries which are present more in the anterior region so lateral part of the calyx most posterior part of the calyx most straight calyx is important three point among which which is most important posterior posterior posterior, posterior. whereas in supine piece and lateral lateral lateral, lateral whatever it may be first is posterior second is lateral third is straight these three things you should remember first posterior then lateral because vessels will be medial after that straight straight is better because dilatation is easy so that is the conclusion thank you sir